Last video there, we're playing the, the Sega Genesis 2 Mini. Technically, it's a Mega Drive 2. And technically, we're playing Warsong. But I have, before we get playing, so I did Warsong before, but this is, that was my own cartridge on uh, a retro, like an at games thing. Simulation was decent, but not great. So I want to see this one because it actually is included in here. And this is a game everybody should play. A uh, couple of gripes. Now, this is a Mega Drive 2, not a Sega Mini 2 because by the time I actually made to buy one or pre-order one, it was sold out on Amazon, but it was plentiful on Amazon UK. So I went to the Amazon UK and had delivered. It actually didn't even cost me any more money, so it was weird. But to the gripes, one, I didn't see it's any packaging, but it does not come with an AC adapter. Now it is USB powered, but it also doesn't come with a USB cable. So there is no way to power this thing. Guess we're playing Warsong. I waited long enough as doing it. Oh, we're playing Afterburner. I didn't want to play Afterburner. What are you doing here, game? I guess that's gripe number two. Wow. I guess that's gripe number two, just auto auto play. It's probably just because I was standing still for so long. So anyway, we'll, we'll go here. Uh, gripe number two. Not only does it not include an AC adapter or a USB cable, and I am powered from my computer, so it can't be powered by almost anything, like a monitor or whatever, because it doesn't take up a whole lot of power. Um, it's micro USB. It is the year of our Lord, 2022. It is almost 2023. It is inexcusable to not have a USB-C cable on here. This is micro USB. That should be dead and buried by now. It's the last rant I'm gonna go on, but that, like, that should be gone. That shouldn't be a thing anymore. Oh, hell yeah. I think I to play this again. So for anybody who hasn't played this game before, actually, I, I like, I still love this intro. Like this music right here. That goes up. Those three balls come out. They fly to the castle, and then, yeah. Oh, this song is so good. Here we go, new game, little game. Why don't I make it continue? I can't, because there's no game here. Sweet. Um. So, this is part of the Landgrisser series. It was C, C to start, of course. Um, and th so this but it came out in Warsong. I, there definitely was another Landgrisser, I don't think, released around this time frame. A lot of people say Gemfire is kind of a sequel to this one, but it's not quite the same thing. Um, and they did release the Landgrisser 1 and 2 earlier, and it was that one. But those were remakes, basically using the mobile game model, and they are super easy. Like that game is comically easy compared to this one. This game is rough and I like it. Like this was the first game that I remember like beating the crap out of me as a kid. Like not because of like poor gameplay design, like in busted Nintendo game that was just, you know, impossible because it was poorly programmed or whatever. This was just a game that was well programmed. It is just hard as hell. So, okay, we got units here. Garrett has to live or if Garrett dies, it's over. We have Garrett and we got Baldarov. Garrett is a fighter, level one. Baldarov's a sword master, level nine. We got all these guys. So Garrett is gonna get a bunch of soldiers. Can I buy them? Yeah. It costs money, as you can see, so we're only gonna buy like six. And Baldarov can also do that, but we're just gonna start. So now, your guys can't, you gotta put your, position your dudes. And your little soldiers can fight for you. If it the yes. Turn one. Sabra. King Adolf, the castle surrounded by the enemy. King Adolf. Alphador? Alphador? Adolf? Garrett, you should try to escape to Soras. Our friend Cardion is there. Father, I cannot leave you to fight alone. Fly, you fool. You must leave and gather more troops. We'll be all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tiburon? Your Highness, the enemy has started to move. Baldarov, go with Garrett and guard him. I swear to protect him with my life. Poor choice of words. Callius? You will protect the castle. Hurry, you must leave soon. There's no ways. Go now. Alright, our turn. So we can move all these guys. So, this game does have permadeath. However, the only people who can die in this one are Garrett and Baldarov because everybody else here is 
although we control them, are... N they're not supposed to survive this fight, but they don't die. We can get them again later. Spoilers. So, uh, Tiburon is a crocodile knight, and he's got a bunch of merfolk. S what do you mean immovable? I can't move these guys? Oh, I can't move them. I can only move my dude. That's right. So, we got Garrett here. We're going to move him. So, your little guys... So you have your guys here, your fighters. They get bonuses based on your character, their class, what style of you you use, and how close they are to um, you. And in fact, you see that down the bottom, there's a plus two to attack, plus two to defense because they're close to the commander, and we get 15% uh, increase overall because we're on the terrain. Garrett has an attack of 23, defense of 21. Everyone's got a life of 10. You just lose, you just, it, it ticks away and you can, but you can heal up by using the uh, treat command in, uh, in around. You gain three back return, I think, for that. And you want to get up here, we get plus 40 up here. Now, when you fight with your guys, you get experience. Because you don't keep these units between battle, you get money back if they don't die. But like they're not they're not permanent. They will you at the end of the round you just they go away. So these guys don't level up. You level up, and they share your level. So you might be asking why did I not give Baldurov any? Well, Baldurov is level nine maxed out. He can't go any higher. Baldurov is also the wise older bodyguard slash mentor archetype. So he may as well have the Grim Reaper riding shotgun with him this entire this entire map. He is insanely powerful, and we'll probably have to get some of his units uh, next time. But for now, we think we're fine. Okay, that's it. So, it's just in six buttons, so how do I... Is it start? Let's start. Okay, end of phase. Full-size map winning. Game speed. Let's set it to fast. You can do an interruption to get to save it between battle, which is nice. This is the first game I remember ever doing that. That I played. So he's going to get there. Yes. So because they're mermen, mermen, more people, they have an advantage on the water. And you get three types of units. You basically get uh, fighters and swordsmen, kind of. Uh, heavy cavalry, yeah, see, because they're not on land, they suck. They only have eight defense. They get a plus 50% of the water to bring them up to like a decent amount, but not a lot. See, they get See, they got attack plus 50%, so they get and defense plus 50% because of the geography, which is really cool in this game. So, there's that. Uh, archers beat, I believe, mounted. Or archer type enemies beat mounted, which include, like, uh, there's flying units in the game and horsemen. Uh, soldiers beat archers, and archer, and, you know, and horsemen and cavalry beat soldiers. They're beating them because they're stronger, because they're higher level and stronger units. That's, they're winning because of that fact, not because they're, it's one-on-one. -on -one. See, like, they have an attack of 22, 18, their terrain never gives them a slight attack advantage. So this is all crap you have to, like, keep in mind. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, the bosses just launch one super attack. And hopefully your guys make it there in time. And it goes for your guys' too. She's a mage, she can fight. Take off two for each one, perfect. And those are also, like, merfolk down there. So baiting them into the castle is a good call. Enemy's phase, they're gonna do a lot. But once again, you're just supposed to escape. You're not supposed to stay and fight everybody. You can, it's hard, but everyone still dies and the king, and you basically just leave. Like it doesn't affect the game at all. If I remember correctly. Come on, Sabre. Oh. Damn, that guy was going at it. Yep, pulled out that nine. Yep. Ah. I mean, he's fine. He gets a better advantage in the water, but he's still got a high ground. 
still does count for a lot in this game. Yeah, like, you really can't take this dude out. Like, those freaking elementals are insane. Yeah, see, like, they're also lizard men, so they're kind of the same boat as Tipperon's people. They, uh, you know, they have a horrible defense, good attack. I can see a lot of, like, yeah, a lot of that, because they just have really high attack, but they got crap defense. But she basically just has, like, acolytes who are really good against, uh, like, slimes and stuff, but not good against soldiers. So you've got each commander oversees the, tr the treatment of their, in your troops. Yes, your highness. Uh, too bad, uh, Sabra, you haven't got no troops left. Also, if any of your commanders see that they receive treatment. Yes, I understand. I get yourself killed. Not a chance. Prince, you should be going. Yes, I'm coming. All right. That's our turn. So yeah, uh, so if you treat any, it heals you for a few, but also heals up any unit within like a, just a straight cross. So you guys, you can get your guys' uh, healed up as well. So we're going to move here. Okay, these guys who, they got us on net, but it, they're also net at three. So we should lose like four or five probably. We only lost two, perfect. Seriously. What's that forty percent bonus? You can also auto move too, so like if you don't want to move all your little units, you can actually say, hey, at the end of my turn, just move all unmoved units and they'll kind of like either go attack the enemy or form them around you depending on what you choose. So it's actually pretty cool. And semi-automatic is, is kind of the same thing. See, you healed up. They're going to stake my kill, aren't you? I mean, certainly they earned it more, but still, come on. Oh, she's got this. Oh, she don't got this. Yeah, the sound effects in this game are crazy. Good call, she's got that kill. One down. Oh, that's a bad move. Yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, they can't even scratch him. But that is, it is a more defense than they have attacked. He's got a he's got the high ground. Like the ramparts give you plus forty percent. Oh, see, they're not even attacking her. There it is. Oh, she's going to start going down, yeah. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's not bad. She's only going to hit her at least once. Two. No, she held him off. And I don't think he can get to him because... Yeah, they're moving slightly forward, which is fine. Taking this guy. Did we get the gear bonus? Yes. And the high ground. Nice. Seriously? Yeah, it's out of range. I'm trying to save some money too. I should have just spent more troop got more troops for Garrett. Oh, but nah, this is fine. We got the high ground and we got the Garrett bonus. Nice. I gotta say, this play is pretty much how I remember playing the Genesis. This is a pretty good emulation. I I'm not an expert on that, but I, I can tell when it's bad and this doesn't feel bad. This feels pretty good. I know some people get super into it and they can tell like the difference between like the sound chips down to like like the littlest details. I'm like, ah, I'm not that good at, at detecting that stuff. You 
only took out two, that one dude took out two of theirs. There's two on. Like he, that's more than I thought he could, to be honest. Garrett to at least get level two before we leave. Nope, oh, he's moving off that part. You know, not a bad strategy. You're still gonna die. They have no defense. Let's make you get plus 40% if you have a defense of eight. She treated it up. She's gonna blast her magic. Perfect. Hey, let's keep them from moving in. Oh, God. Is this what I mean? They're, they're like supposed to die. Like, they, they're. They're all supposed to die, but like they're suicidally dumb in this version. And once again, she got one. She almost got level up. Nine. Oh, damn, that's a good hit. I'll take one on, probably. Yeah, that guy was tenacious. Oof, not that good. Just gonna take at least two. Oh, only one. It's weird how I don't know how that determines that. But with those elementals coming in, she's screwed. If you can't tell her attacks not very effective against flying enemies. Oh, they're pulling back. That makes sense to me. Finishing him off, eh? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, those elementals are gonna mess her up. No, oh, they have the high ground. Yeah, basically, they all just either escape or get captured. Yeah, but she's pretty good on her own, though. Like, if they start attacking her directly, they're, she can hold her own pretty well. Like I said, she's a wizard, so like I said, she has, doesn't have soldiers in the traditional sense, at least not yet. Doesn't get those like the next class change. Now, you should be able to take out these guys. You have the, yeah, you have a massive advantage. You should be able to take out four. Perfect. All right, Balderov, you might kill all these guys, so let's see what happens here. Oh no, he left one alive, perfect. Garrett. Nice. Oh, cool. He gets the Garrett buff and the 40% defense. How the hell, with all these extra buffs, did we get that badly destroyed? And see, that's what it should have been when we hit attacking from the high ground. Yeah, they're running. Oh, he got an attack off, though. Props to that dude. Oh, Balderov! Yeah, she can hold her own pretty well. Got him in the back.
I mean, she doesn't have much in the way of defense, but they also don't have much in the way of defense either. Yeah, she heals up next turn. She can definitely take him out. Seriously? This might be a bad idea. Let's see what happens. Oh, I still get the gear bonus. Perfect, okay. Uh, but Tiburon's gonna get that kill. She healed up, so she'll be fine next turn. Ooh, got your baller off. Oh, baller off's in trouble. Yeah, but their guy's like, I'm out of here. Two hits, yeah. Let's get these. Are, these are the tens. Oh, nice. See, the most you hit was four. Perfect. Okay. He's down to five. Get Balderov out of there. Come on, at least do two. Yeah, they can't do anything. By a bad idea. Close. Oh no, is Tiburon gonna kill this guy too? Oh my god. He's snaking all my kill. Dude! She'll let him die first. I mean, the king is going to be strong, but they're just soldiers, so they're not going to last long against this onslaught. Oh, and they're going for they're going for Calius. They know they know where the threat's at. They're like, oh, 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 he didn't treat. Interesting. For nothing, Tiburon. Ugh. I can move these guys down here. Maybe they'll attack him instead of, instead of her. Oh, no, she killed two of them. Oh, level up for her. Uh, he's, a, he's a level one king, so he's got a life bar, uh, experience bar. It takes forever to, to rank up a king. Oh, he's dead. I got two, though. I think it's kind of why I like this one better a little bit, because it's all, it's ten. So it's like, okay, here's your tank, here's your defense, here's this one. Like, the other one is like, like when, especially when it follows the mobile game, it is... Like tens of thousands of hit points, you thousands of damage. Like, no, nah, this is cleaner and simpler. You get 10 hit points, 
She got two, three. Oh, wow, she's actually better than I thought she would against those things. I mean, do you see their stats? Now she's gone. Like, yeah, I might be able to, like, I might be able to stink a kill on these lizard on these lizard dudes. I mean, they only have, they only have eight defense. Ah, oh, man, one more. Alright, I'm gonna probably fast forward. I just wanna see if I can get one last kill with Garrett's two guys so we can crank out one level in this map with since Tiburon's not snaking my kills anymore. Yeah, you probably survived this, yep. Yeah. He is strong, look at this. 31 28 with a 40% uh, bonus. Like, honestly, they shouldn't be able to, to scratch him. Oh, I was gonna say, a lot of the elementals ignore us. There is one extra cutscene if you watch the king die. But, as you can see, he's a tough. No, Lizard Man Tekus. Yes. Oh, take out three. Even trade? Perfect. Okay, we might be able to do this then. Oh, that's a guys that level up, it looks like. Yeah, we got level two. Okay, that last kill did actually count. Cool. Just get as much as possible. Alright, we out. Father, I will return them with the reinforcements from Silver, so you can count on me. And it's over. So we got 1400p, 1000p for that, and a little bit for same. And we're gonna save. So we gotta protect Mina. So she is a healer, that's what I was talking about. So we got four groups of enemies. So this time we need Bald around. We can't just do it all with Garrett. Soldier. So we have 1400. Same with them, and then we're gonna take some horsemen, which are the most expensive ones, but they are the strongest he's got. And if you, we don't have any items. You, you can get items that can give you buffs, but we don't have any of those right now, so start. Uh, we'll have Garrett start up top, all around start from bottom, because he can move faster and his horsemen can have better range. I feel ashamed for making you come all this way with me. It's all right, Mina. We we're on our way to Solaris anyway. I said something's wrong here. Thieves! Mina, we've almost reached the city. Let's try to get through all at once. I'm right behind you. Watch out, they're coming from the back. Head for the city. Let's get them all. So we got these mages and they got some thieves. They are not strong, but they are annoying. And we protect her. And she just has civilians who literally have zero attack and have 10 defense. And we can't move them, so... Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying, the horseman's got the move. That's why it's better to put him on the bottom so that he can catch up later. Yeah, we should not... With Valderab's horsemen, we should not lose a single unit to these guys because they have more defense than these guys have attack, even with their proximity bonuses. And since we get bonus for thoroughness, we're just going to kill all of them. 
Because also in this version, unlike the remake, you there is no going back to previous missions. Like this is it. Uh, there's only four here, so Garrett can go attack the front guys. Get that forest bonus. Oh, one. It's gonna hurt him, isn't it? No. Yeah, like, our unit should be, especially if we're in the commander range, our unit should be able to effectively make short work of them. So that Mina's gonna keep beelining it for the castle, and there's a lot of these guys. Out of Garrett's range by like one, probably. Damn it. Okay. Well, that's bad. So he's an attack of 25, a defense of 15. These guys have a defense of. This is risky. Seriously, none of them made it through. So if you notice how there's like a foot icon next to the commander, that says what the what the other units do when you move them. So whether they're going to move to attack, just move along with them, or get up defensively, you can cheat. You can assign that. So it makes moving your guys easier. You don't have to move each individual unit when you're just trying to get across the map. Uh, just Garrett, huh? For one, yeah, you wuss. Of course, they're attacking the civilians. You are all dead. I don't know if you get a bonus for getting them there or not. I think you just get some money. Well, that's the only way you're going to damage him, so don't worry about that. There's a couple there because they're in the forest, so they got a bonus. Seriously, he took he did that much damage to Garrett. Level three, so we're definitely getting some bonuses. So, okay, so we got the high ground and we got all of Garrett's buffs, so we should be able to do some damage. Yep, got him. Okay, cool. So now we can move and treat along with Garrett. Okay, um. You still get Balderov's bonus if you're here? Yeah, okay, just finish this dude off.
That's where you get the horsemen. Alright, Baldur is going to fly up here. And if we end our turn, his guy should be automatically moving up to him. Yep. Which is actually, I think this is also the first game I ever played that had a feature like that, which was super useful. It makes everything speed up. So I think we're going to try to hot gates him a little bit, because I want Garrett to get all the kills. Because, once again, Baldurov, max level, can't get any more EXP. He's the wise mentor bodyguard type. He is not long for this world. We only got two more uh, groups of barbarians, so... Where are they at? Okay, we got a couple turns. So what we're going to do is... Get Garrett set up here. Move this guy here. Move this guy here. Here for now. We're, we're going to try to set up in the mountains so we get the, we get the best uh, bonuses. And then next turn, we're going to just treat with Garrett, get him leveled up, and then... Or not leveled up, but get him... Um, get him healed up. She's a healer too, so that helps. And since she didn't move, her dudes are just going to hang around her, which is perfect. And as long as you play the high ground game, we should be fine. Yeah, we got at least two turns before they make it to us. Plenty of time to post up. They're sticking to the road. If we stick to the mountains, we'll get the massive increase in uh, defense. Speaking of which, you come here, you come here. Oh, that's right. They don't get it by. Let's see. That was my. I forgot. They don't get it by us treating. They get it just by being around us. It's, did you get Gareth's bonus here? No. You get it here, right? Yeah. Okay. And all those guys are just going to form up around him. Yeah, so I want to kind of move Garrett up because I want he like once again, Baldur is going to die. <laughs> Spoiler: I want him to get all the experiences possible. How far up there can you move? You can move there. Okay, so I want you. Okay, so Garrett can move up here. Which means you can move here. You can move there. How far can you move? What? I, I meant to attack. Oh, God. Yeah, Baldur and his boys are just right here to help. Yeah, stay behind us. Perfect. Focus on him. True, but we still have the advantage. And if they attack again, he's going to probably die, but still. Are not? Good God, those, those dudes are beasts. What, you can move that far? Oh, come on.
Now that, this one we had the high ground on. This should be a massacre. Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, they're dead, but still. I can say, actually, they may not be dead, who knows? I had Garrett attack that seven. You should kill them all. Yeah, see, they're almost here. So wait, there were two dudes here. There's them. There's them. Are these guys not moving? Okay, yeah, Garrett's got three groups of guys left. This shouldn't kill him, right? Damn, he actually... He actually did a lot better than I thought he would against them. Oh man, that was a beating. Yeah, baldur has got so many dudes left, it's fine. Cool. I'll probably have Garrett heal and attack that guy, because I don't think his guys are going to make it. Oh, did not... Oh, um... Oh. I guess there's a button on there for the quick save. Did not realize that. Good to know. It's kind of like where the shoulder trigger would be on the modern controller. Let me treat it up. Smart. It won't save you, but smart. Mina, can you heal Garrett or not? Now, Garrett did not get that badly rocked last time we did this, so... And if you kill them, then they can't hurt you. <laughs> You still get a, do you get a Garrett bonus up here? No, okay, then go here. No, okay, well, we're fine, it's only one turn. I guess those dudes aren't coming, I guess we'll just have to get there and see how it goes. Yeah, those guys are literally just trying to go straight over the mountain, that's not gonna work. And it's gonna take forever. I mean, look, they have to cross this, and I, I think those white ones are basically like, yeah, they're... They have the most bonuses, but they're hard to get over. Oh, now they're coming. Kind of, maybe. Honestly, if these guys are starting to move, the borderline smarter play would be just get here post all of our guys up on the mountains here so they can't, like, side attack us. And then just wait for them to come. At us. Come at us. Oh, crap. I forgot they were on move, so they moved out of position. I should be fine. F 
fine. I mean, they actually can't attack him from there, so it's okay. Oh, I was wrong. So, uh, that's also how one slip up could just. I mean, you can put you can set the manual so you always control your guys. But that's how just one slip up can screw your entire plan up in this game. Damn, they did a good. They did a hell of good work on that one. Yeah, but now he's attacking us, and we're on the mountains. Yeah, get out of here. Take out the eight. Perfect. Level six, man, he's almost there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he, like snapped his fingers and more dudes arrived. Any more down here? Uh, full size map. Nope, just one extra army appeared. Okay. Uh, we may just send two of these guys over here to help out. Oh, shit, I forgot. Once you declare an attack, you can't move again. What, Mina, why are you getting ahead of me? Well, they can't get to the mountains and attack them, so that's fine-ish. And honestly, if that dude attacks one of Baldurov's guys, that's still fine. I see they're retreating. No magic, okay. That yeah, still works. Okay, how much do you do to, to uh, this guy? Okay, without Ball to rub around, you guys suck. See, you can cancel it if you do that, but once you declare attack, it's all over. All right, so we're gonna have to... Get in it. If honestly, if only I hadn't screwed up and uh, did that one auto move instead of declaring my attack, we would have been so better off. We lost two of Garrett's units because of that. Ugh, sleep at the wheel. Yeah, these guys are probably dead. They went down fighting. I mean, those guys can attack Baldrop's horsemen. They can't hurt him. Garrett, they can do some damage to if they get the right angle on him.
And it, like, that's my bigger worry, Garrett, is they're just gonna ping him like that. They're attacking Balder up at, on the mountains? Honestly, I'll give him props. I actually was better than I thought they were gonna end up. But for sure they were all gonna die. That mountain bonus. All right, come on. Seriously? Ooh, it's gonna be rough. All because I keep all because I wanted Garrett to get as many levels up as possible. This is the problem with like having future knowledge is like making it harder because I'm like, I want Garrett to get levels up. So, so I know these guys are pointless, but it also makes it a lot harder for me because I'm putting him in much more hazardous situations than I normally would. I mean, they have a type advantage, and even though Balrav's not next to him, they still have, like, a lot of advantages. Like the high ground, for instance. See? Perfect. Oh, he's moving towards Garrett. That's bad news for us. I knew he was going to treat. Oh, they're attacking Balrog. That's also bad. And once again, they should not be able to hurt him. Get, get out of here, dude. Jeez. And once again, they all should also not lose to these guys either. You should kill him. Close. Oh, sorry. I'm not used to that because I'm... Like, this feels like a Genesis controller. They don't have shoulder buttons. That's just to make sure no one sneaks up on him. So she could heal Baldarov. Yeah, they're gonna do that to Garrett. Yeah, makes sense. They're gonna pull out. He's gonna move up the mountain. This should still be a smashing victory for us. Yep. Get out of here. Like, stop it. Stop it. Same deal. Once again, we have the high ground, so...
Got him. Yeah, and then, that's the thing. Killing the enemy commander gets rid of all the units. That's why I kind of like want to save it for the end. Uh, even if this guy could reach this dude, he wouldn't be able to, like, kill him. All right, Garrett's treated. This is still rough. Well, then again, they only have 110. Okay, good. She's healing ball rough. Which means her dudes aren't moving, so we can sl run next time. I mean, the good news of them pulling out like that is the fact that, like... Like, they're making it harder for their bosses to attack Garrett, who can sit here and heal. Yeah, he's gonna treat. I mean, he'd be stupid not to. So you're gonna get a level seven before we're out of here. Well, they're not perfect. Okay, just has to hold out for one more turn. Oh, sweet! With her healing up, Baldur up too. Perfect. Sloppy, but we got there. So Garrett's at what seven? He's at ten. Perfect. He's fully healed. Oh, almost. Which means they're gonna send some other. Un That's dumb. I mean, it's smart, but dumb. And he's like, I'm healing. Okay, cool. So. All rows in the house. Boom. Which also means this guy has 10. This guy has 20. So these guys would have a big advantage over him if they can move. I mean, Garrett still has the advantage here. I'll just force him to heal so you won't attack Garrett. Level seven, damn, we're leveling up quick. Every 10 levels you get a promotion. So, like, by this pace, you may even get a promotion by the end of the map three, which would be insane. I don't think I've ever gotten one that quick before in this game. If Brandon Gear doesn't die, like, there's still a chance. Oh, you can, you can take out eight. It's also blocking their the big guy from attacking us. They attack us from the low ground at this point. Tempting. Oh, he can't. Do you get the baller bonus in there? Oh, you do. Oh, this guy's dead. Perfect. Figures. Oh, they're still gonna mess him up. Okay, so they got up to seven. I mean, they us, they all have to get here to kill him. And Garrett's maxed out in health. 
Meaning Garrett can just go kill this guy. Almost level eight. Boom! Mina, you're right. I'm fine. Prince Garrett, you are Prince Garrett, aren't you? Prince? Uh, Duke Cl Clarion. I haven't seen you for a long time. What brings you here? Ah, oh, long story. The castle of Balti, the castle of Balti has been attacked by the Dalsius. Dalsus? What? And one of your father, King. Oh, oh, yeah. I have no news. Yeah, we didn't watch that part. He's not, he's totally dead. I haven't much time to waste. All right, I'll help you get your troops ready. We should get some rest now. We should help do Clarion or Carleon. Not, I keep saying Clarion, Carleon. So we got them all, and we got a lot of surviving units. We got 2,200. Damn. So this one, shockingly, while Garrett rests in the city of Solaris, thieves invade, taking advantage of him being off guard. Shocking, who would have known? And it's literally the same dudes from before. Lots of them too, though. So we basically only have control of Baldurov and Garrett, and we'll probably do the, run the same thing we ran before, except I'll give Garrett more guys because he is so close to leveling, to class ranking up, which is be fantastic. But that is gonna do for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. So initial impressions of the Sega Mini 2 so far. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one more at least because there's another game on here I wanted to play and never had played before. So I'll be doing that one next time. And these are just one-offs, unless people want to see a full playthrough, because I put a feel out for a full War Song playthrough before, and not many takers. I do like this game. It is very tough, as you saw. Like, one misstep could can easily spell doom for your entire squadron. It is that kind of game. And the fact I played this when I was like 10, with my, with my slightly older brother, was like, oh lord, how did we do this? We were just two kids. Like, this, this game is punishing. But, like I said, that is for another time. So if you guys want to see a full play, let me know. But next time, well, not next time. The next time I post up one of these mini videos, I'll do the game I never played before on that one. And we'll see you, and we'll see if people are interested in these or not. But until next time, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.